Ow. Please. <laughs> Recording. Okay, so just put a little hit marker when I hit your face. Good morning, FPC. My name is Tanner. And I'm Kane Heminger. And this is NPC in it. Today is Friday, 16th, and next week we will have Disciple Street Groups on Tuesday and Chapel will be on Thursday. Seniors, remember your presentations are from April 26th to 29. Here to tell us more is Serena and Mr. Shank. Tell me about the senior <laughs> presentations. So, Mr. Shank, what are senior presentations and why do we do them? Okay, senior presentations are kind of the capstone of really your experience here at North Point Christian, um, where you are able, as a senior, to be able to stand before your, your parents, stand before your aunts and uncles and friends, and talk about how the stuff of life and your life of faith intersect. Where are those intersections? And uh, we want to do this through, uh, hopefully, uh, service opportunities that you've taken advantage of, uh, maybe even a project. As we're standing here outside, uh, I don't know how far the camera can see, but I direct you out toward the woods there. Uh, one of my Mentos uh, is going to be, Travers, by the way, is my Mento, is going to be building a chapel out there in the woods and dedicating it to Dr. Vanderkoek. So it'll be the Vanderbilt Memorial Chapel. And so it'll be a place, hopefully, where uh, we'll be able to take classes from time to time to go out there in the chapel, maybe even to have a class or a small group, maybe a discipleship group. And so this is something of a legacy that Travers wants to leave here in remembrance of Dr. Vanderkoek um, and also the spiritual life of the school here. So what he's doing is he's taking the stuff of life, uh, his ability to be able to, to build a chapel like this, and then his life of faith and intersecting them. Hi, I'm Autumn. I would love it if you guys could come to my senior project on Saturday. And we're going to want you to come check out our baseball and softball teams playing at Cornerstone University on Saturday. You can buy a Knight of Nets shirt there for $10 only, and each shirt sold will provide a bed net for a family in Africa. See you there. Uh, not everybody's going to do a project like this. There are going to be some people that are going to be uh, in a room and they're going to be talking about how God has shaped their life in the past and the people that he's used to do that, um, how he's even shaping their life now. Um, and then also the future, you know, where are we going or where's that person going and hopefully to be able to impact their world for the Lord Jesus Christ as they go out from this school. So that's kind of what the senior presentations uh, are about. Oh, okay. And will other students be required to go to them? Uh, this year, because of the COVID protocols, it'll be limited. I think we're limited to about 20 per uh, student, per senior. Uh, but they will be uh, televised, if you will, on our Google Meets, that they'll be able to see them if they want to watch them. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, hold on. You didn't ask me what I was reading. Thank you for that announcement, Shank and Serena. Now, remember, dinner feeder is April 24th. Prom is coming up May 7th. Tickets are on sale this week. May term applications are due today, so be sure to sign up or you'll get stuck in Mr. Prora's class. The Art Expo is April 12th through the 20th. And remember, athletes, you'll have athletic testing every Monday, so make sure you come at 7.15. Now off to MoCo. Morning, students. It is time for your favorite segment on NPCNN. Three things with Mo and Kyle. All right, so thing number one is this COVID testing on Monday. It went fantastic. You guys did a great job. You showed up on time. You brought all your paperwork. Good job. We've had a few others we've had to do as you've returned from spring break. But no, next week on Monday mornings, Monday is our testing day. Be prompt starting at 7.15. We'll get you to class on time. It'll do great. We'll do great. And keep it up. Number two. You've been hearing lots of things in the news. There's been a lot of uh, pressure, I think, from some outside sources. We are staying open. Uh, unless they absolutely close us down again, we are gonna be open. So please help us out. Uh, advocate for that in every way that you can. We are doing the same. Help us out by taking into account all of the safety measures that we've been doing all year. We're just gonna stick with the plan. It's working very well for us. Our numbers are very low still. Um, and let's keep let's keep doing a really good job so we can stay open the rest of the week. Number three. And on that same vein, sports are still full go. We have not slowed down at all. We are full number. 
competition. Track competed last night. Tennis has been competing. Golf's competing. Baseball, softball's playing. We are playing. So with that, we have an opportunity for you. This Saturday, all kinds of Mustangs in action. The boys baseball team will be playing at the first one in a tournament all day. The girls softball team at the first one all day in a tournament. And our Mustang tennis team will be here hosting tennis on Saturday. So make Saturday Mustangs more stay close. Go Mustangs. Go Mustangs. Go Mustangs. Thanks, guys. Thank you, MoCo, for that wonderful announcement. Hey, what was that joke you had for today? Why couldn't the power line go to prom? I don't know. She was grounded. Think you got something better? Email us at mpcnn at mpchristian.org. That's all we got for today. I'm Tanner. And I'm Kane Heminger. And have a great rest of your day.